Making Album Service. And this is a newer service. Um, it actually, I'm not entirely sure. It was a couple of years ago maybe that they started uh, doing it. Um, of a, of a, a more professional style of wedding photo album. Um, I actually got married seven years ago and I didn't initially order an album through my photographer and that was because I just wasn't really quite sure what exactly I wanted and um, yeah, I thought about doing Shutterfly at the time and I saw the types of albums that they had and although they were nice they weren't that um, photographer album quality so I had I just kind of waited um, and I looked around at other websites and then ultimately I just didn't get anything. Um, so now here we are seven years later and I noticed a couple of years ago that Shutterfly started doing this more premium albums and I decided that I wanted to give it a shot. So um, I was really, really on the fence because I just, I didn't know exactly what the quality would be like and I, I, um, I wanted to see if there were videos out there. I wanted to see what it looked like and nobody had anything. So I'm making this because I figured that there are other people out there who want to see the Shutterfly premium album quality. Um, I will say that I was definitely quite impressed. So it's huge, it's heavy. Um, it is actually about 10 pounds and I paid to have it as big as I could get. So um, if you were to get the more basic, you would have less pages. You obviously wouldn't have as many photos. Um, I wanted it to be as big as possible. I wanted to get as many of my album, my wedding photos in there. Um, you know, I mean, we're getting like <laughs> thousand, a thousand pictures from photographers these days. So it's, you just need to find a good way to showcase it and you, you have to have as many pages as possible in my opinion. So um, it comes in a nice box. It actually, <laughs> It arrives in the, t the typical bright orange, huge box. Um, very well packaged, um, very sturdy. And then of course it comes in this nice box uh, to keep it, you know, dust free in your house. And then it, in there it has this bag and I actually didn't put it in quite as nicely as it comes. And then here is the album. So I, decided to go ahead. I really wanted a white album and I, I, they have like an acrylic cover. They have ones with photos. I just wanted this, the simple white album and unfortunately it only comes in leather. Um, so I did pay for the extra for the leather. It is very nice quality. Um, it's beautiful. It's pretty much exactly what I wanted. So, um, I also paid to have the silver gilding on the pages. Um, I just really wanted it. I, I felt like for me, it, the price is, it's a lot. Shutterflies, it, it's, it was very expensive, I will say. And um, again, this is why I wanted to do the video because I'm sure there are other people out there who are like me and on the fence and are not sure if it's worth it to spend the extra money. So I just wanted to show all these different features that I was very curious about so again, that silver edging, um, I did not, you can have a, you can do an embossed cover. I did not pay for the extra embossing because it's just a simple line here and a simple line here. And I wasn't real crazy about the font options. It didn't allow me to do an actual preview of what it would look like. Um, for me, I really wanted to have maybe like a, a modern script font, something large, you know, and, um, they didn't offer that. So I just figured I'm not going to pay for extra for it. And then maybe I can find a local company who can do that if I really want to look into that. Um, it is so black when you open it up. Um, I will say I also did the extra slightly rounded corners. I was not sure about that. I, um, I just, again, I just wanted all the details to make it look as professional as possible. And frankly, I'm happy that I just, that I went ahead and spent the extra money on that. Um, it wasn't, too crazy expensive to do the rounded corners, I don't believe. So um, I would say the biggest add-on expenses were the, obviously the leather cover, cover was a big added expense, and then the silver edge was an added expense as well. Um, 
it's a pretty significant one. So, and then the pages are, they are nice and sturdy and thick, that cardboard, and then it's all actual photo paper on here. Um, and just, again, I'm just very impressed with the quality. Um, of course, I, so I also asked them to do that sort of design service where they do the pages for you. And I'll be completely honest, I was not impressed with the work that they did. To me, it felt like it was not really any different than, um, than me using a computerized version of just like putting pictures in. Um, the one thing that was helpful about the service was it helped, they helped me weed through, I think they, I sent, I, I think I uploaded probably, well, I think the maximum is around 800 pictures. So I uploaded 800 and they helped me weed that down to about 250 or 300, which for me, I needed that. I needed somebody to help with that. Um, so that is really the one thing that I liked about the service. The rest of it, I just felt like I, I, I had to totally do the album layouts. Like these are all 100% my layouts. Um, I just was not happy with their layouts. They used all the stickers and all of that kind of stuff. And for me, I just, I didn't want that. I wanted it to be very plain, um, but not plain. I just wanted it to be modern. I wanted it to feel like a professional album, not like a Shutterfly photo book. So, um, so yeah, but again, very happy. Um, one thing I would just say, if you're, if you are going to be the one to do the layouts yourself, I would really be careful with like how, where the crease is, um, on some, if fortunately for me, I didn't really have any pages that were real bad that were super important, but near the end, I did have a couple where the crease was a little bit closer to the face than I would have wanted. So I would just be really careful with that, you know. Um, like for example, here's one, I, you know, I, I, I wish I would have been a little bit more careful on some of those. So just pay attention to the creasing if you're doing that. Um, again, I got as many pages as possible. Here's a nice big spread. Quality is excellent. Um, I mean, it's, it's perfect quality. It is, it is a perfectly done, again, photographic quality. I'm very impressed. Um, I had very, very minimal words. I had first look here. I don't know if you can see that one over here. Um, first look, and then on the front page, I had a small um, description here, and that's it. But these spreads are just really nice. Very well done. I really am definitely happy. Um, and the photo albums usually have their logo on it. The only place on it that has, <coughs> that has the Shutterfly, ah, that has the Shutterfly logo, which I'm really happy about is right here. And it's done in black, not the typical orange. So I'm also very, very happy about that. I really, really did not want, you know, to flip it over and then have a big orange logo on the back side. So, um, again, just kind of again quality back front this is 10 pounds I can't remember if I said that or not it's heavy it is very heavy um, and of course on Shutterfly you always have to make sure that you're buying things with the discounts um, this was pushing 1400 before the discounts and I ended up getting it with like the um, you know 50% off everything and then I had a little bit of gift card money, you know, to go towards it as well. So um, you can certainly do it for cheaper. I put the add-ons on because I felt like this is the one time I'm going to do this. I want it to be done right. I don't want to, I didn't want to spend, say, I didn't want to spend roughly 500 and then feel like I was only like 75% happy with it. You know, I wanted to spend a little bit more and then be 100% happy. And, and I am. So there you have it, the uh, Shutterfly Premium Wedding Photo Album.